And for some people in the east, they remember exactly where they were when the historic floods from Hurricane Floyd hit in 1999, and many people are still left picking up the pieces. But one nonprofit is now using the devastation from the storm to achieve good. WNCT's Josh Birch joining us now live with the story that will have wide-reaching effects. Josh. Yeah, that's right, Angela. After Floyd, many areas that flooded were bought out by FEMA and given to the city of Greenville with one condition that no permanent structure would be built there. Now, one group is planning to turn some of that land into community gardens for those in need. Well, I remember that I lost everything. Like thousands in the east, Catherine Newton had to start all over after the floods from Floyd receded. It was a lot of people that didn't have food. I remember when we had to go at Welcome Middle School and we was out there and they had to bring food from McDonald's and places. But from the heartbreak and turmoil the floods caused has now emerged the opportunity to feed the needy by using what had been useless lots as community gardens to grow fruits and vegetables. A lot of people want to eat healthier, they just cannot afford it. Maxine White is the director for the Coalition for Healthier Eating, a nonprofit who petitioned to lease the lots from the city during the city council meeting Thursday night. Their goal for the gardens is simple. Help people eat healthier and provide the food to those who cannot afford it. The mission for her is personal after she developed mercury poisoning from what she had been eating. She says unhealthy eating has dramatic health implications, but many poor people can't do anything about it. It's a problem Newton says her family has struggled with. I mean, I love fruits, but sometimes, you know, you just don't have the extra dollar to buy them. White says the produce will be available at discount cost or no cost at all, depending on the person's situation. She says it will be through grants that her dream will become a reality. We will do all that we can to help people stay healthier, get healthier rather, and to avoid food-related illnesses. Now, this food grown on the 32 acres of land being leased to the nonprofit will benefit people in nine different counties like Pitt, Beaufort, Lenore, Green, and Craven. Soil tests need to be done before anything is planted, but White says she hopes to have the gardens up and running by mid-spring. Josh Birch, 90 Your Side.